Hi everybody, just wanted to do a quick update on the uh, Airfix 148 scale BF109E that I'm working on uh, currently with uh, Shane, Longland 67. Just going to show you guys where I've been. Um, I um, just kind of a quick update, I've mentioned this before. From Hornby in the UK, uh, they were kind enough to uh, send me uh, replacement parts for my kit that I had issues with in the St. Marks. Sent me new uh, fuselage halves and also a replacement cockpit. It was very nice of them. Thank you very much. But then uh, a week later, I was contacted by Hornby USA and they sent me an entire new kit. <laughs> so I'm um, really happy with um, Air Airfix and Hornby. I'm definitely a customer now for life. Uh, unless they do something majorly screw up. But here it is. So no surprises. And uh, this is the first time I've worked on it in a couple of weeks, actually. I've worked on it, uh, I don't know, about two and a half hours today and got some of the you know control surfaces installed um, I had some issues here with these leading edge um, these front, I don't know what you call these, front ailerons uh, the attachment points on the sprue were thick, they were large and I made a mistake when using my Tamiya side cutters, I cut it too close and I ended up having little divots or holes where I cut them and so I've had to fill in with some putty um, and um, once the putty finishes curing, I'm going to go back and, and sand this over. And hopefully, that will fill the little little divot, so to speak, that I cut into that. That was my fault. And then I'm going to you've go got to this uh, panel line scriber that I'm going to rescribe the hole for, or the you know the lines on the control surface uh, once that putty dries. But um, so far, it's been a pretty good kit. Now I decided to go ahead and use the um, bad hole halves, uh, mostly because I already had the time invested. So you'll notice there are a few places like here and here uh, that I, you can see where I filled in uh, the St. Marks um, myself. And here, for example, and here. Uh, and went ahead and did the work. I uh, just did it. So, and uh, yeah, I put a lot of work in on that cockpit, and I'm, I didn't want to, I didn't want to pull it out. So this is, you know, I don't. I made some progress, but I still got a ways to go. Um, I've got um, canopy over here that I need to, you know, go ahead and mask that pretty soon. I've been watching and referring to Paul from ISM's video. Um, it's what is it, a five or six part series that he did on the building of this kit. Uh, I've been going back and watching his um, videos to kind of review um, how I need to progress and then following his example. Paul, thank you very much for doing that. It's a fantastic series. But that's uh, that's how I've got, you know, it's come along so far. Um, I have done some filling. You'll notice I have some putty um, up here on the tail, you know, where the, you know, horizontal stabilizers go in. I had to fill the seams there and use the liquefied VAO um, plastic putty for that. It works quite well runs right into the gap, you can't beat it. And I've determined that for this particular build, according to my painting and marking guide, I'm going to be doing this one, Aircraft B. Yachter Shader 51. Uh, Werner Mulders, France, July 8, 1940. It says Mulders, it's not Mulders Aircraft. July 8, 1940, first Luftwaffe fighter to be shot down over the UK, crash landed in Bladbean Hill, Kent on July 8, 1940. Pilot Johan Boehm, taking a POW. So that's the, that's the version I'm going to be doing. And I'm going to be using that Edward photo etch mask. So uh, as far as the actual build of the aircraft, depending on how much time, I'm probably going to take tomorrow off. I take a lot of Mondays off, try to work on it some more tomorrow. Um, I think... Um, you know, I'm going to be pretty happy with it uh, so far. You know, I'm just going to need to go back and sand these in. Hopefully they'll fill in good and then rescribe them, you know, so they'll, you have a visible gap there. There needs to be a gap there for the control surface. And I had a couple of, I forgot, I had a couple of ejector pin marks here on the underside of these uh, ailerons or flaps that I needed to uh, fill. And I did that, filled those and sanded that. So. It's not a perfect kit, but I mean, for what they cost is um, what attracts me to them so much. So um, I've got a ton of them now. I've got like five or six of the darn things. 
but um, I'm anxious to uh, get into the painting phase because that's uh, that's what I like. That's what Aaron talks about he liking as well. Uh, well you know what, there was one other thing um, before I go uh, I wanted to share with you. So I've discovered a new product. Um, I didn't know Tamiya made these. Now 3M makes a similar product. So it's a sanding sponge. So it comes in a material um, and you can cut off strips um, to make you know certain shapes and or conforms how you want. I love this stuff and I, I bought it from an uh, eBay dealer out of Hong Kong uh, and I bought, I don't know, I've got four or five different grits and they're, you can get two sheets of this stuff and it was like nine dollars shipped uh, which is not bad at all so I love it and uh, you know you don't have to remember to hang on to the packaging because it's got the grit number on the back uh, it says 1500 you think that would be pretty fine this is actually pretty coarse so I got uh, let's see what all did I get off of that uh, 1500 um, I got a 1000 grit and I've got a 600 that's pretty coarse and then I also got a 400 grit which I have not opened yet that's how they come packaged like that they're really nice let me get some more they've got a few more grits than that I like how you can cut them into little shapes that you want that's pretty handy so anyways I, I didn't want to make a long video so here it is that's the progress on my 148 scale BF 109 E it's gonna be an E3 I believe and uh, it's coming along get the control surfaces on. I'm hoping maybe if I'm lucky if I can get the rest of the surfaces installed. I may try to do that tonight. Uh, get the you know, rear stabilizers on and everything. The rest of the flaps. Get this canopy on and masked then I can start painting and priming it tomorrow. Maybe. Hopefully. Maybe. We'll see. Um, but anyways, thanks for tuning in guys. I uh, hope everyone has a good night and you had a good weekend with your family. Uh, everybody take care. Have a good day.